in Welcome for World, this is Season 7 on Crane's Ref. Yes, it's been a while ago since I did a Crane's Ref commentary earlier. We've got this time um, some rare old players. Of course, we got t Taco here, which is, is a uh, real pro from the old times. Which must did play some games again. And we've got Aurora Renaka, also a very old pro. Seems to be here. Don't really know him. And uh, yes, so two old players get him back on Kane's Ref, probably just to uh, play some games with together. Not making a huge comeback or whatever. So both players are GDI. Let's see, we've got, uh, yes, T Deco on this side. Love, really love his name, T Deco. And we've got Aurora, I just come Aurora on this side. We are playing on uh, Tournament Decision. So yes, that's been a while since I uploaded actually a, a, a video. Like two weeks, I've been uh, very busy. I was this weekend away to France and other stuff. I did uh, some uh, dual cars with the XPS 9, but for some reason the quality wasn't that good. So we have to redo them, which well, they were good games. It was really fun. <laughs> you really want to see them, but maybe it gets the quality up back up. Oh, we're just going to redo them, which we probably sure will. Ooh, nice grab off the building here. Yes, I hope to get this uh, this video online on Wednesday, which is actually tomorrow. Ooh, even for fine there. Nice. Oh no, you did stop for fine there. Yes, I was like I was saying. Hope to get up tomorrow. So let's see if I'm opening game. It's for Kane's ref. I did a couple of the Pyramid Wars games before this. And also uh, trying to uh, change some music. Got some. Uh, some different stuff, I got those epic music stuff, I got the uh, Electro House and some harmonic shit and all that stuff. Not sure which I'm going to use in my next up videos. I need to have a look, so if you've got any suggestions for some nice music, because you need really need good music to, uh, to bump up the game, motivation of the game, with good sounding music. Of course, you don't want sad music to happen or something. <laughs> because they will not be entertaining. And now we should get into the game right now. We've got Aurora here. He's just, uh, yes, two ref. No, actually, nothing special. The deck also the same. He probably didn't play this game for a while, so don't mind that the micro isn't that good as it was before. Because they're bros. They're just probably going for eco. Uh, Eco and stuff. Oh, is he going to do? Yes, Aurora is going to get a scout off in his base with the tackle. Oh, put now Watchtower, but he is late. He's immediately firing at the power plant with this Watchtower. Who eventually gets his Fox up. Now he's sitting on a ratio of 5 and 2, which is a nice ratio to have. And uh, what is Aurora? He's also going for probably going for, for, his, uh, for his last half. So he's a little. No, he's going for third triple rafty. So he's really going to Eco Boom. He want to get his big Tiberian field. Dried up as fast as he can. Get another half going. I'm probably going for something else. Go for more masters. One more masters will be the best ratio of all with three refineries. Like six, seven uh, halves there. Fox is still not clean up. What did that going to be out? Also, he could be more halves coming out. Is he going for the third ref? It's building really slow, so it might not be a third, first ref there. So he's probably going to transition to pit bulls. Yes, pit bulls are out. Ooh. Uh, each pit, each side has got one pit bull. Try to focus now on this building. Is he going for more? Yes. The deco going for no. Only just one. What's he going to do? He's going for a fast deck. Is it a fast deck? Probably an, an airfield is going up. His uh, command post is down. Yes, there is the airfield and have not been spotted by Aurora, which Aurora also going for dual airfield. So he's got to do up or uh, the deck only got one he's actually not in much cash because he's building he's probably going for an upgrade his hard points but with dual one he's going for those probably going for hard points there and more orcas so he's got already three orcas up he can probably go in for the attack but three probably not getting one after pitbulls are here so for defense but only two pitbulls will not do enough of course and a bread tank is coming out which you want to do? Ooh, what is this? Bloodhound coming. And the airstrike, so Aurora will know after this airstrike hit there is an airfield and he's going also going for this airfield. No, probably not going for his. Uh, for his. Uh, epic yet. 
He's not building anything out of the airfield. And now the Bloodhouse is coming in. One Orca, you won't be doing that much. One well, Pitcoin. So the land troops will land right there. They are a veteran. There the Orcas from, from Aurora. One already got sniped down on the deck. Veteran Pitbull's doing a massive amount of killing. One more Orc is already down to two Orcas. And there are some reinforcement Orcs are going down probably here. But there are so many Pitbulls. And even some Mr. Skull coming More Pitbulls from Aurora coming in. Try to take the Pitbulls. Where are the Orcas? Orcas, Orcas. Did they retreat? No. Orcas here sniping the harvesters. Nice micro from, pit, from uh, the deco focusing down the Pitbulls. And he will get. Oh, he probably gets. Two harvesters, you can see two uh, fully loaded harvesters. But he lose almost all of, of his orca. And now the pit bulls from Aurora rolling. Overwhelming these pit bulls, but there is enough missile squads to scare off all those pit bulls. He probably lost like three or four harvesters. Actually, actually he did lose pretty much. He only sitting on three harvesters. No. Yes, three harvesters. And um, one very badly damaged. So his eco has been uh, demolished there. What are the orcas doing? No, is he going for firehawks? Is he going for firehawks? Yeah, he's go, going for firehawks. Bombing the airfield. Nice job. He did went for hammerheads. And one more orca. Ooh. He's playing his trooper. I'm not sure if he could do So he went not for the orcs. He went for those firehawks. But yes, people are getting cleaned up. He's hitting on four harvests now. More people, more people are trying to get in. But they did get easily demolished by uh, the missile squad there. There are those firehawks. We're just trying to find an upgrade. And the hard points. Oof, here are the hammer sandwich. What are going to do to do? He's pumping on no more pitbulls. Does he got the uh, missile loader to kill those hammerheads? Mm, no, yes, no, he's not firing at them. Now the hammerheads are rolling in. He needs to get a, a gun because yes, three pitbulls will get the most. Does he got APM or no? He's immediately retreating those firex. He needs them out the front. There is missile loaded. But now the hammerheads are here. If the firex land, they can easily target it down. No, it's got too much health, and now the f the hammers will go down easy mode. There we go. They clean up all of them. No one did this way, but not a mere slingshot is here. But there are uh, two pit bulls, not much. And now the hammer is going in. Not a good idea to attack that slingshot. Slingshot getting that elite status or veteran. Probably is veteran. And now blue out also from Aurora going. In, which is a problem. No, no, Mr. Squads and the pit bulls. No, it will not be enough. And where are the firehawks? Firehawks bombing one airfield, of course. And still, these uh, these toxics go for more hammerheads. He's bombing one refinery and he's trying to find a way. Nice job, hammerheads. Almost going down. Yes, it goes down right there. So he's sort of one of the airfields. He's got three, three fire. He needs to get one more up soon. Well, actually, immediately. We can bomb more things now. APM, not APM, APC coming with, with one prayer thing. Already one people going down, but there are miscuts here and prayer things. Well, actually, one, only one prayer thing from the deck. So, they will be able to hold, off, hold this attack off fire action. They're now really a pain in the ass for Aurora. He's got dual walks, the factory pumping out those pit bulls. But if the deck was making them now, well, he has seen them. Of course, the deck has got those strata fighters. So, what's going to do about probably losing one pit bull? Ooh. Flying over the pit bulls is never a good decision. He's probably going to lose all his fire arcs. No detector, what are they doing? And not even getting this refined, losing three fire hawks. Which are very expensive. I'm not sure how much they cost. Oh, and actually, the force of the deck has been demolished. There's just nothing left for him. Well, for Ron, not that much either. But there are some mines here. But there's nothing to do against him. At Sonic Mini Town, so that's where all the money went. But hey, you need to do something against then those anti-air. More pit bulls are coming. There's slingshot, but one slingshot will be enough. Pit bulls, so many pit bulls might want to target down this slingshot. Slingshot is really pain in the ass against uh, for the for those hammerheads. But no, he's not Sonic Man defending this field up. You can micro your pit bulls around it. More firex. Well, well actually one fire block isn't that one Sonic Man takes out three pit bulls there. Oh and the firex is immediately taken down by those pit bulls. One more losses. And now entry finding one uh, to, uh, oh, is even so the deck was setting out the power plant, he is going for the upgrade power plant. And he suddenly the deco is in a worst position ever. And with no power up pitbulls in his base, raiding everything, he's selling off, going for the fire so is he going to do a magic thing? Oh no, he's got the expansion up, but does he got the money for a uh, 
or a final probably not he's, he can do anything with this maybe with the D squad no miss squad would immediately get taken out by the emirate nice micro from aurora t deck what are you going to do about this bird tanks getting overwhelmed by the Pit bulls, you need to do something about the hammerhead, but where is the slingshot? Where is the slingshot? Where do you have it boy? It's nowhere to be seen. And now the hammerheads are going for the expansion, but there is a Aegon. But Aegon not doing that much against Pitbull actually. Mm. So sending out but the Aegon is down, but it's just too late. And if people are coming, it will take some time when <laughs> to take out the the MCV now the four force of well, forces just some scattered units getting pulled out here to defend this off but Aurora not going to expand he is leeching he's like ah, I'm winning this game why should I expand why bother expand where's actually his MCV did he sort off his MCV did he really sort off his MCV and did I completely miss that well the answer is yes Oh, hammerheads, mm, you want to go away from those, uh, yes, from those hammerheads actually, he did take out one, but I think we're gonna strike, oh no, the deck all certainly surrenders, but he could have stayed in the game, but of course he didn't know Aurora actually had na nothing left, besides those few pit bulls, and those hammerheads, but maybe the deck all didn't have any money left, at the end, but we can see that. So a nice game from some old players, love to see those. The micro wasn't over the top, really enjoyable game. The game length was, let's see, 10 minutes and 33 seconds. So I hope you like this game's ref commentary. And I'll be coming up and stay tuned for the duel cast with me and XPS9, which will take some time because he's on vacation right now. Not sure he's coming back, so yes, I'm signing out.